welcome to the first in our series of the American Road Trip Souvenir Cookbooks. Now, I've got a little bit of a gem right here. This is the Frontier Chuck Wagon Cooking, and it only cost my grandmother a dollar uh, in 1972. Now, I'm not exactly sure where she picked this cookbook up. I know that they traveled extensively out west, you know, like Devil's Tower, uh, Grand Canyon, that kind of thing. And so that's where I'm assuming she probably picked this one up. I have another one that has a price tag on there that kind of gives a hint as to where she might have picked this one up, but we'll talk about that one uh, at another time. So this one is actually pretty cute. I actually really enjoyed looking through it and I picked a recipe that's kind of, um, well, it just goes along with the theme. I'll just leave it at that. So let's go ahead and get prepared and we'll see how this tastes. Pause here to write down what you'll need to follow along. So you know what time it is. Let's go ahead and get as much prep work done as we possibly can before we start cooking. First, you're gonna do about two tablespoons of onion, finely chopped. Now, I used a small onion from my garden, but I didn't wanna waste it, and I'm perfectly fine with more onion than what the recipe called for, so I just went ahead and chopped up the whole thing. Next, I went ahead and grated the potato. I left the skin on to keep the nutrients intact, but you can go ahead and peel this if you would rather do that. I also went ahead and got a bowl of cool water so I could put my grated potato in there to keep it from turning brown and to kind of pull some of the starch out. Next, I chopped up some parsley for my herb garden. And then I decided to go ahead and get the eggs ready also. So I broke all six eggs in a bowl and then went ahead and beat them until they were thoroughly mixed. Now I saved doing the bacon for last since it's raw meat and that way I won't cross contaminate by accident. But as you can see, I had a little bit of trouble cutting this bacon. I think it was because it had a little more fat on it than what I initially thought when I bought it. Now we're gonna start by cooking the bacon. And even though the fat is going to render off, I went ahead and sprayed just a little bit of Pam in the pan anyway. Now you're gonna go ahead and cook this bacon until it's very crispy. Now this didn't take long at all, but you can see six pieces of bacon kind of shrunk considerably due to the amount of fat that was actually in each piece. Now I drained off all but about two tablespoons of the bacon fat and went ahead and sauteed my onion in it. You're gonna saute the onion until it's pretty soft. I then drained my potatoes, squeezed out the excess water, and added them to my onions. And we'll go ahead and saute that with the onions until the potatoes are soft and a little on the brown side. Now once you've got your potatoes and onions done, you're gonna go ahead and pour your beaten eggs on top. Add your salt and pepper, and as much or as little Tabasco sauce as you prefer. Now we'll talk about this later, but you can see right about here is where I'm beginning to overwork the egg and it's not gonna work out for me in the end. According to the cookbook, you just use your spatula to lift the edges of the omelet just a little to let the liquid egg mixture slide under. In my effort to cook all of it thoroughly, I overworked the middle and basically kind of scrambled it. When it's close to done, don't forget to sprinkle your omelet with the bacon and your parsley. Now here's the moment of truth. My overworked omelet did not flip over very pretty. However, if you follow the directions according to the cookbook, you should do fine. But what matters is the taste, so let's go ahead, plate it up, and see how it does. Okay, so I should have had you flip this omelet <laughs> instead of me. Um, I think, and I'm sure other cooks out there who make a lot of omelets are going to watch this video and be like, oh my god, she butchered that omelet to death, but... This is a big omelet. It is a big omelet, it's hard, but... It's, 
do this without. I shouldn't. I overworked the mm. omelet、um, in my effort to desperately try because I hate undercooked eggs. In my Effort to try to get more of the egg to kind of slip down to the pan underneath、uh, and cook and cook and cook. You basically scrambled it. Yeah. <laughs> so and I kind of knew what I was doing as I was doing it, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm overworking this omelet, and it's not gonna flip. But then I was like, Nah, it'll be fine. And then this happened. So, <laughs>、uh, yeah. Note to self:、um, just follow the directions in the book. Um, that said, you know, just gently lift the edges, but don't do anything to the middle. I should have listened. I mean, an omelet really is kind of supposed to be a little undercooked on the inside. Yeah, I like, mean, you get the like. That's just my weird preference. <laughs> you know, I'm just not one for like a runny egg, but it's okay. What I mean, it still should taste good. So it smells good. Okay, I'm gonna try to get some with bacon and potato. Try to get a big bite that I can't swallow. Takes a long time to chew this thing <laughs> with the bacon <laughs> and the potato. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna. Okay, I know we say this a lot. I feel like we say this a lot. I'm surprised. <laughs> I think it's because of the genre of cookbooks that we keep doing on this show. Yeah. You know, like your your older historical ones, or you know, your kind of corny、weird. ones. Yeah. yeah, really weird cookbooks. I, we try to keep it as weird as we can around here, <laughs> and so I think we're just always going to stay surprised. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. A, I, I wouldn't have expected this good of an omelet to、yeah. come out of that. Cookbook, and I like this stuff. Oh, I, I, I didn't. I didn't I think have, I, I would. I would add more, but you know. That's yeah. Well,、me. I mean, you can. No, yeah, you, know, you, you can add it after. But、uh, yeah, I'm actually really surprised because I'm not like a, a hot sauce kind of person.、Right. I don't really like to. Be, but you know what? I actually really like this. It adds an extra dimension of flavor. Yeah. Um, to this omelet that is perfect. It,、yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it's perfect. You actually、um, barely notice that it's there, but if it wasn't, you'd miss it. Yeah, and I was a little bit kind of like, oh, there's no cheese in this omelet, you know, like, oh, that's gonna be, that's、eh, not gonna be that great. But you know what? The Tabasco sauce is, like, you kind of don't need the cheese.、No. I mean, I'm sure you could add it if you wanted to,、yeah. but you don't have to. No. no I mean, it's, it's good. a good omelet, just exactly the way we made it from the book.、Mm-hmm. Um, And I would buy this stuff again too. <laughs> so wow, you know, I, I, I was gonna have to eat all that myself. No, I actually really like it. I mean, it's you know, I, I, maybe my taste buds are changing because I've gotten off of sugar, <laughs> you know, and so now it's、You're、like looking for something else to spice it up. Yeah,、no. you know, I can enjoy other foods now because、uh, <laughs> my taste buds are clean. No, but <laughs> but I actually, you know, of course,、uh, it's hard to mess up anything with bacon in it. True. So you know the bacon is really good.、Um, the the potato and the onion is just really good all around. I mean, I would make this again for breakfast definitely. And it came from a cornball、yeah. souvenir cookbook from the seventies. I mean,、yeah. who knew? Now, in the defense of this little corny cookbook.、Um, There were quite a few dishes in here that I would actually try.、Mm. Um, I was really surprised because you know you're very、um, stereotypical caricatured、uh, on the front cover.、Um, you know you're missing the G over here to make it sound you know more Western, I guess.、Yeah. I, I don't know, but I mean, but you know you've got some frontier chuck wagon cooking. You know it's kind of like really,、yeah. really. Kind of in your face with the whole Western thing, but it's actually cute. Like it's got some、um, homemade little illustrations、hmm. on here that's telling you like what states are considered,、um, you know, Western. Western.、Um, you've got like a little, you know, some cities out west and stuff. And judging by the recipes, it looks like they really tried and actually put some effort into finding what you would think of is Western,、like、um, food. yeah, like well, and、sort、like、of. Tex-Mex, yeah, and yeah. different dishes like that, you know, like、um, now, like some of it, like Texas fried chicken. I mean. 
that's kind of a southern dish. I, I don't know if Texas has their own fried chicken, but I mean, I might cook this and find out. You know, like <laughs> See I mean, how it, much it's, it is. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it has evaporated milk. That's yeah, I know that was, but um, you know, there's stuff like Nebraska baked corn. Uh, you can tell that they really tried to like add the um. They try. They really try to gear it more towards cowboy and you know, like your chilies and beans and, right. and different things Stuff like that. that so you could, like cooked out of non-perishables. Yeah, so. and you know, this isn't or like, like even onions and potatoes that are perishable, but they still last. Oh, they would have grown. Oh yeah, I mean, and they would have grown. Yeah, them. you can yeah. find them in the wild sometimes too. So, so I'm not like I'm not mad at this cookbook. Mm. I, I actually think expected they, it to be too cheesy and. Yeah, I like, thought they was gonna fail. <laughs> you know, not gonna lie. Um, but the food tastes good. Yeah. Um, the cookbook's cute. I like it. You know, you could probably find this on eBay. Um, I will go ahead and put, you know, the description and the publishing company um, in the description below. That way, if you want to try to eBay this, I'm sure you could probably maybe, find it. Maybe even be new editions of it. We don't know. There could be. I mean, if you go out west and, you know, you haunt some souvenir shops out there, I'm sure you could probably pick up something similar. Oh, yeah. Um, but this I'd one... i Wall Drug would have had something. Oh, big time. They might have <laughs> got this from Wall Drug. I don't know. We've been there several times as a family, so who knows? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm actually... I like it, and I would actually... I would keep this in my yeah. collection. You know, and I would cook some more things out of yeah, it, which is kind of surprising. Yeah, which is a good thing yeah. for a little cookbook like this. You know, for a dollar, I would say this was a good investment. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, kudos to Mama for picking. Well, okay, wait a minute though. Uh oh. I should caveat that because some of the cookbooks uh, that she has picked up with the same little like souvenir kind of things. We're going to go over some of those in the coming weeks. Yeah. So, Mama did good on some of them and maybe not so good on the other <laughs> ones. So, we'll see. Yeah, but you still got to be careful. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go ahead and give this a five. Um, I'm going to give Tabasco sauce a five. I like that. So, happy with that one. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to give the cookbook. I'm going to go ahead and, gosh, I don't know. What, what do we want to get? You know what? I'm, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to go ahead and give it a five because it pleasantly surprised me. Mm. I would cook more out of it. This dish is wonderful and it's cute. You really can't ask more right. from a souvenir it, cookbook for a dollar. And it's not, it's kind of jam packed with recipes too. There's not a lot of pictures taking up space. There's not. Oh a lot yeah yeah yeah. Of, like, You're, every you get page. a lot of recipes. Yes. In a relatively small book. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's it's, five to six recipes yeah. in each section like every time you turn the it's page. It's actually pretty pretty dense like i'd say there's as many recipes in that little pamphlet as there is in some of the bigger books we've got oh big time you yeah know. because yeah even, by the time they like, pad out all the pictures yeah, and stuff like even that from yeah like big time chefs and stuff you know you find yeah. a, like every other page or even two or three in a row some oh just yeah pictures of the food or something like yeah. that so but this was yeah i mean kudos yeah you know they did they did good i like this yeah so pleasantly surprised yeah. now next week I also think we're going to be pleasantly surprised. I got my fingers crossed for yeah, this one. We'll see. It's an oddball. We didn't now. Mama didn't get this one from out west. Uh -oh. She actually picked this one up from North Carolina. <laughs> um, but we'll see. We'll put it to the test and, and we'll find out. But now uh -oh. I will give a little bit of a tiny hint. The last two weeks, we've got two more cookbooks besides, you know, next week. Um, we'll see. Uh oh. Yeah, I, it's not. It's, we might I'm, have I'm not promising. At some point. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not promising that you'll want to remake the dish. <laughs> I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna promise anything on that one. But we'll see. Yeah. So really hope you enjoyed that one. Um, I think you'll enjoy the next coming weeks. So it's gonna be some oddball road trip Americana and uh, hopefully some good food. Yeah. <laughs> we know this one was yeah, at least. This one was. So thanks for watching and uh, really hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for next week. We'll see you then. Bye. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button for future videos. In the meantime, here are two videos you may enjoy. Thanks for watching.